Hey, graphic designers in electronic media period three, this is Mr. Roper, and I've got a quick tip for you on how you can make the serial pieces for your serial box design project. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can take the basic vector shapes that you make in this program and turn them into 3D objects that you can use as serial pieces in your bowl, um, that you can make marshmallows with or use for any of your other designs. So let's get right into it. Uh, right here, you guys can see my design so far. And what I decided to do for my cereal is I'm going to have um, two different types of cereal pieces, uh, crunchies and marshmallows. So the crunchy pieces are going to be little donuts. The marshmallows are going to be cameras, computer mice, microphones, and camera lenses. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn this flat vector drawing into a little 3D object like this. And then I'm going to duplicate the object to fill in my bowl with all the crunchy little cereal bits. Okay. So to do this, we're going to need to open some windows. Um, one of the windows that we're going to need is your brushes palette. If you don't see it on your screen already, you just go to window brushes and that will pop up. And I've already drawn my crunchy piece. In this case, I'm using a donut. Um, I could do this, let's just make it like a Cheerio for this demonstration. I'm going to make a little round circle. I'm going to have the stroke be kind of like Cheerios color. And I'll bump up the stroke so it's a nice little roundy there. And let's go object, path, outline stroke. Okay, so now you can see that that donut shape is all ready to go. Now, I want to make this thing look three-dimensional. So I'm going to select the shape, and I'm going to go up to the Effects menu, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. And when I click this, you're going to get the, some 3D options here. Very first thing you want to do is go down to Preview so that you can see how it's going to look. And that's not what I want right now. It's way too deep. It's facing the wrong way. So let's play with this a little bit. I can take this 3D box, and if I rotate it, now it's facing the other way. The depth of your 3D shape is what we call the extrude depth. And I'm going to turn this down. It's at 50 right now, but I think I can get away with 10 so that it is more like a little donut shape. And then I can also control the direction of the lighting. So if I move this little highlight spot, I can make sure that the light is hitting the front of the shape. These edges are looking a little bit dark, so I'm going to turn up the ambient lighting. There we go. That's more light, crunchy Cheerio shape. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK. And what I've got now is a 3D donut that I can use as my piece. Now, you'll notice that I'm seeing both the 3D version and the flat version at the same time. That's telling me that I need to expand the appearance of this object so that it is um, fully traced. So that's really easy. You just go up to Object expand appearance. Okay, and now it's traced and it's ready to go. All right, now I could do this a couple different ways. If I bring this cereal piece down into my bowl and shrink it a little bit, I could quickly make a whole bunch of copies. Control C, Control V, right? Control V, and I could space these around. But the problem is they're all going to be facing the same way and it's going to take a lot of time. So let me go back. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to actually turn this little crunchy into a paintbrush. Okay. What you do is you take the shape, make sure that your brushes palette is open, and you just drag it into your brushes palette. It's going to become a new brush. Now, there's three different types of brushes. I'm not going to get into these other ones, but what we want is a brush that scatters cereal pieces wherever we paint with it. So I'm going to do a scatter brush. It's going to give me some options. I'm going to call this crunchy. And I want each of the pieces to rotate as I put them in the bowl. So I'm going to make the rotation random. And I'm going to turn one slider all the way up and one slider all the way down so that they're going in every single direction. Okay. I hit OK. And I now have a crunchy cereal piece brush. So what can I do with that? Well, if I grab the paintbrush tool and I have that crunchy selected, anywhere that I paint with this, it's going to fill in with cereal. OK, 
okay? So I can quickly make myself a big mound of crunchy cereal bits. Pretty cool. You can do this with anything too. Like I could have done this with my little character's head or at the spoons or anything you can draw, okay? So my process going forward now is I'm gonna make each of these marshmallow shapes that I drew into a little 3D object. And since I just did it for the crunchy piece, watch how easy it is to do it for this one. This is my little purple camera's marshmallow. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit smaller. Let's go a little bit smaller, there we go. And then all I have to do is go up to effect, apply extrude and bevel. It actually remembers all the settings that I just made for this one. And if I click this, it's gonna do the exact same thing. Now I've got a little marshmallow camera. Let's do the same for my mouse. Shrink them down a little bit. Effect, extrude and bevel. Boom, there's my marshmallow. Let's take this guy. Shrink him down. This is my orange microphones. Effect, apply, extrude, and bevel. Great. And lastly, I've got my camera lenses. Shrink him down. Effect, apply, extrude, and bevel. Super. Now I'm going to take all of these and select them. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to go up to object expand appearance so that it traces all of the shapes in that marshmallow and now I'm good to go okay so now it's just about decorating in my cereal box I'm gonna have my camera here kind of like my my dude is um, juggling the marshmallow pieces so I'm gonna throw some of these up in the air I'm gonna rotate them a little bit put this one up here rotate it a little bit sweet okay and I can even throw maybe like there's a few from this guy all the way to the front if I can. Maybe there's a few little donut pieces with frosting I want to throw in here as well. Let's grab a couple of these guys and bring them in. My bowl of cereal has all the little marshmallow bits. I'm just copying and pasting. Shrink, throw them in, copy, paste. Shrink, throw them in, copy, paste. Okay. Have fun with this. Just space them out and make your cereal bowl look nice and full of goodies. Okay? So I hope that helps. It's a really quick trick. Um, once you design your pieces, it's a piece of cake to make all the rest. Good luck, guys, and I can't wait to see what you come up with for your cereal project.